Phyllis Foods was actually started by my grandfather back in 1914 in Hooper's Island, Maryland, with a little small seafood processing factory. We did oysters during the wintertime, and we, we did crab and fish during the summertime. There were just so many oysters in the bay, so many crabs in the bay, all sorts of species of fish in the bay, you know, clams, soft-shell clams, hard-shell clams. And I said to myself as a young child, I said, my gosh, this bounty will be here forever. But yet, within my lifetime, it's all but disappeared. You know, it's a shame. And along with that disappearance of the resource was, is also the erosion of, of the whole lifestyle. Today, Phillips it encompasses seafood processing factories, uh, mainly in Asia. We process crab meat and fish and value-added products in those facilities. Fishermen are the same around the world. They work hard, you know, they, they depend upon, you know, a healthy resource to feed themselves and feed their families and to support the communities. When I really looked at our historical data, for instance, in Indonesia, you know, what I started seeing about six or seven years ago was really a decline in the resource. And what I mean by that was, you know, the crabs seem to get be getting a little smaller. When you see a species that's getting smaller, it means that, in my opinion, that it's experiencing some stress. We took the lead initially on uh, sustainability issues because of my experience as a, as a young child growing up on the Chesapeake Bay and seeing what can happen to a resource if it's not properly managed. That's the most important piece that we take care of the resource. Without the resource there's no fishermen, there's no industry, there's no exports, there's no jobs. So you know we have to do all that we can to make sure that, that resource is, is protected, that it's sustainable and if anything to try to improve. I'm Ed Rhodes and I head up the uh, Sustainability and Aquaculture Division here at Phillips. The primary focus of sustainability here at Phillips is on our sourcing of seafood. Sustainable seafood, the fishing from a sustainable source, means taking fish out more or less in balance with the natural reproduction that replenishes that fish supply. I define sustainability as managing the resource in such a responsible way that the resource can be enjoyed by future generations. And we have an obligation as an industry to do that. In order to get started with crab sustainability, we obviously need to know what the status of the stocks are. The first major milestone that we achieved was the establishment of the Crab Producers Association in Indonesia. That happened in 2007, and it was followed a year later by the establishment of a similar organization in the Philippines. I think one of the major things that Steve was able to accomplish is to get the industry in the United States together around the issue of crab sustainability as well. And it's resulted um, first in a coalition of crab importers of the United States that, that now has become the National Fisheries Institute or NFI uh, Crab Council. I got everybody together because this is a very important mission. One passion I think we all share now is that passion for sustainability. The sustainability landscape is pretty, pretty complicated. Legitimately, the Marine Stewardship Council, for example, has only certified 7% of the world's fisheries. If we were to only source from certified fisheries, obviously 93% of the world's, world's fish would be um, off limits. A responsible seafood sourcing program includes sourcing not only from fisheries that are clearly sustainable, but also from fisheries that can clearly show that they're making progress towards sustainability. To really address sustainability properly, I think, you know, you've got to include government, you've got to include the industry, you've got to include the fishermen, you've got to include, I think, a third party NGO. And, you know, we're doing things. You know, we formed associations uh, in Asia uh, with all the processors, we formed the NFI Crab Council, we've set up a funding mechanism, you know, committed to sustainability. We're, you know, we're putting money behind this effort and we're totally 100% committed to sustainability. Well, I think the, the takeaway message uh, is probably threefold. Uh, first, uh, that Steve initiated this whole sustainability activity. Um, and secondly, that those, those initiatives that Steve took have produced some real results now on the ground or in the sea uh, in Asia. And I think lastly, that Phillips continues this commitment to sustainability. Um, that's really important and, and we see good things happening in the future.